welcome to Kimina. Oh. Hmm. Time waits for no one. I've always taken spooky blood. Ah, no. That's yay. But eating food like this will help. Yeah. a bit full. Ugh. But if that's the... Okay. Dango. Yes. More dango. I think the dog... Who uh, knew... Uh, why does growing... Uh, let's keep back. Maybe I could try some other food. All the stuff we just ordered. Yeah. I understand. Remember. Not too fast now. Ugh. My tummy hurts. order another. That would be a better plan. No... Uh... Wait... I won't give up. Some things can never be achieved until you push yourself. If I can't eat anymore, then we can always order some tea. My body needs to get the signal that I'm trying to grow taller. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that too. Ninja must be quick on their feet. It'd be embarrassing to get stuck in a tight passageway. But my body will feel my desire to grow, and there are... I've already eaten this much. Uh, that's it. I'm done. Growing is more painful than I thought. We still have two radishes left over. Would you mind finishing them? No, wait a second. Let me think. On second thought, let me try to eat more. Otherwise, I'll feel like I didn't give it my best shot. Then I'll call it quits. No more trying to grow by eating. <sighs> Alright, here it goes. Sayu? Where are you, Sayu? Come out this instant! Uh-oh, it's the Shrine Maiden. She's coming this way. What should we do? There's only one option now. I'll lead her away from here and try to shake her off my trail. We'll meet back here later. I'll just slip away and... Uh, oh no, my tummy, it's too full. Yikes! Error. Oh, you restaurant? Yes, Miss Kamisa, may I ask what brings you here? It just so happens she's a ninja. She often comes. You haven't happened to see her anywhere, have you? Maria. Well then, I suppose I'll just ha Oh, how did you catch wind of this? Did you? Huh. After all, you have been of great- Like Sayu. There's ab- Though she up given her age, such portentous tasks are not assigned to her. What's the matter? All right. Though I am the shrine ma- Yes, of course. I am sorry that this matter has taken up so much of your time. Phew, that was close. Thanks for not ratting me out. <sighs> Even I find it hard to sleep through a tense moment like that. Hmm, I don't know where else to start. Oh, but there is 
one official guy who is responsible for delivering orders from the Yashiro Commission to the Shumatsuban. Anyone with missions like this will report directly to him. But I never received those kinds of missions, so I've hardly ever spoken to him before. Okay, what's the plan? Huh? But, but, I can't do that! I mean, I can't even squish an Onikabuto! There's no way I... Oh, wait. You said pretend, didn't you? You almost scared my tail off! But even so, I'm a lousy liar. Oh, I get it. We'll take the evidence, stuff it in a bag, and write my name and mission on it. Then, all I need to do is put it in a big box used for reports and wait for him to see it. I'm sure he'll come looking for me. <sighs> but that's a lot to do. Oh, fine. I guess my nap will have to wait till later. <sighs> Just stay put, okay? I'll be back in no time. <sighs> I finally made it back. <sighs> Your evidence caught his attention right away. He gave me a different location to meet him at later. Strange, why wouldn't we just meet at the police station? Let's go to the meeting point. Sayu, is it true? Have you completed the mission? I don't recall you ever taking any ambush missions before. How were you able to deal with the renowned traveler so swiftly? Uh, well, you see, I... I caught her off guard. Yeah, that's it. She didn't have time to react. All it took was one thump, then bam, and it was over. Oh no, how could this be? I really didn't see this coming. Don't you usually just ignore your orders from the Shumatsuban? How was I supposed to know that you'd actually take this one and finish it so efficiently? Uh, well, I don't feel sleepy every day, you know. So don't underestimate me. My sensei did teach me some ambush techniques. I just never used them before, that's all. I see. Fine, I'll report back then. Hey, wait! Don't leave! Traveler, you can come out now! Huh? Explain yourself, Sayu. What's going on here? So, you were lying to me the whole time? Shrine Maiden already confirmed that there was no such mission. So we decided to catch you red-handed in your own game, you sneaky sneak. W wait! I, I can explain! It's not what you think! Yes, I was the one who forged the ambush mission, but I had good reason to. Just hear me out. You see, last night, my little daughter suddenly disappeared from home. I was starting to get worried when a Kairagi appeared at my door and told me they'd taken her. They told me I'd only see my kid again if I did exactly as they said. Their terms were for me to forge orders from the Yashiro Commission and dispatch a ninja to ambush the Traveler. Huh? That doesn't make sense. Why would the Kairagi want to ambush the Traveler? And w oh, no wonder. That seems about right. I was puzzled myself, but they didn't tell me anything, and I didn't dare to ask. I was scared out of my wits. I simply did whatever they told me to. Then it dawned on me that Sayu was the only ninja that never carried out such confrontational tasks, and that Kano Nana is her guardian. So I thought that if I assigned the task to Sayu, it wouldn't be a threat to you at all. Half the time, she never even completes her tasks. To my surprise, just as I was about to secretly contact the Tenryo Commission and save my kid... No wonder you look so unhappy when I met with you. Of course, given the Traveler's position in the Yashiro Commission, who would dare make any move against them? After hearing Sayu carried out the task, I really felt things were spinning out of control. To be honest, I was relieved to see that you were all right. He seems to be telling the truth. Are the Kairagi still holding your child hostage? 
Yes, that's right. Myself and the Tenryo Commission are both at a loss as to what to do now. If the Kairagi catch on to us, they might harm my child. <sighs> no. We mustn't let that happen, no matter what. Seems we need to come up with a plan of our own. Wh uh, what do you suggest? Think about it this way. If I did successfully ambush the Traveler, you would still have to report it to the Kairagi. Oh, I see. I'll use the evidence to rescue my daughter. No worries. We'll be hiding nearby, so we can act if we need to. Now I can put my ninjutsu to good use. <laughs> then it's decided. I'll contact the Kairagi as well as the Tenryo Commission. My child's safety is in your hands. Please, don't let anything happen to her. arrived. Oh, and that must be Mr. Okawa's daughter. Even after they hear the news that the ambush has been completed, there's no telling whether they'd make good on their promise to Mr. Okawa. They really have no honor, do they? I see. All right, I'll stay wide awake and fully alert. All right. You asked me to dispatch a ninja to get rid of the traveler. Well, the deed is done. Here's some proof. Her hair and clothing. Oh, is that so? Show me. Hmm. Seems legit. <laughs> How could I forget this gaudy hair color? Imagine, a traveler from another land just coming here and attacking my people. That rascal should have known better. <laughs> Too bad she never had the chance to learn from her mistakes. <laughs> well then... I've held up my end of the deal. Now you must hold up yours. Where's my child? Oh? You really don't get it, do you? What? I only said that it was over for her unless you do as I say. <laughs> I never said anything about returning the little brat to you. Daddy! I think we've held up our terms. I even brought her here to prove it to you. This way, I'm sure you'll be willing as ever to continue working with us. Huh? That's not what you said! You dare speak in such a tone with me? Don't let me lose my temper. Who's to say that I won't do away with the both of you? I can do anything when I'm angry. Or, perhaps you feel bolder now because you've already ratted on me to the Shogunate. Hmm? Huh? No, no, I, I, I wouldn't dare. I... But my child... Tell me, what must I do to get my child back? Let me think about it. And while I'm thinking, you can use these invincible ninja of yours to take out a couple pesky members of the Tenryo Commission. Huh? How could I do that? How could anyone from the Shumatsuban move against the Tenryo Commission? That's not my problem to figure out. It's yours. Enough talking. Now get out of here! <laughs> Hey! You really think we just let you off the hook like that? Huh? Who are you? Ninja? And you? Aren't you supposed to be... The... Brothers! Get them! The Ogawa! This isn't over! You'll pay for this! Let's get down to business! Fire it up! I got you covered! Shine down! Teamwork is great! Embrace the ice! Uh, Whirling snow! Oh you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Not another step, Traveler. I'm warning you. You certainly live up to your reputation. There's no doubt about that. But remember, the little girl is still in my hands. Best not do anything too hasty. We wouldn't want anything to happen to her, would we now? <laughs> Don't test me. I'll... Wait. Huh? How did this happen? 
When did you... You've heard how skilled the ninja of the Shumatsuban are, haven't you? <laughs> Too easy. So easy that... <sighs> I'm starting to feel a little bit sleepy. Huh? You little brat! You dare mock me! I'll pulverize you! Stop right there! Is this the suspect behind the incident you reported? Yes, that's right! Kotomi is already safe! Quick, you must apprehend him immediately! Daddy! <laughs> I knew that you would come to rescue me! Don't cry, my dear. Daddy's here. Everything's all right now. Come now, you should thank these two. Without them, we would have never been able to rescue you. Thank you, Miss Traveler. You and Miss Ninja saved me. Miss Ninja? <laughs> Don't mention it. It's nothing for a ninja. Such agility. And the way you handled that blade. I must say that I am quite impressed. As for Sayu, I had thought that you'd given up on your ninja training. But somehow you seem to be stronger than ever. <sighs> if you don't mind, I'll be taking my child home now. Her mother has been worried sick. Thank you. All of you. I could never repay you. Please take care. The road is still dangerous. Thank you, Miss Traveler. And Miss Ninja! Hey, please wait a second. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. This isn't the first time the Kairagi have done something like this. With a little further investigation, I think we could track down the bigger fish. Well, to be honest, I couldn't care less at first. All that ambushing stuff was just getting in the way of my nat schedule. But after witnessing the crying kid and that big nasty bad guy, I couldn't just ignore the situation like usual. At that moment, the situation felt a lot more personal. Like it was my own problem too. In the end, the little girl thanked us, and even called me Miss Ninja. No one has ever called me that before. Hmm, don't count on it. This time was just an exception. Sleeping is still what I do best. In fact, once this is all over with, I'm going to find a nice comfy spot where nobody can find me and take a long nap. Yes, a really long, comfy... <sighs> I'm getting sleepy. No need. Let's head back first. If I fall asleep now, I'm worried that I might forget some of the things that happened today. So don't worry about me. I'll be just... fine. Sayu, I don't rec- Uh, all it took was- Oh no, don't you you- Uh, so don't- I see. Hey, wait! Don't leave! Trap- Huh? Explain yourself. Try made an- So we decide- Wait, I- uh, Yes. No, please- I've got him that takes care of that. Hello, Traveler. And I see Sayu and Mr. Ogawa are with you. Is something the matter? I understand the situation. It seems Mr. Ogawa was only acting out of coercion from the Kairagi. 
he had no intent to truly harm you. However, it concerns me that those forged orders went as far as they did. It's my responsibility to look into such matters. I will take the appropriate measures to resolve this. Allow me to take the investigation matters from here. You needn't worry any longer. <sighs> if that's all, then we should get going. I can't help but feel a little uneasy here. It's not often that I get to see you here, Sayu. Uh... <laughs> it seems that Sayu is almost always sleepy and in need of a good nap. To see her here accompanying you and addressing these matters goes to show how much effort she is expending on your behalf. But from now on, you should better attend to your duties. There's no need to keep Kano Nana worrying all the time. But I don't want to work. All I want is some sleep, but you keep the Shrine Maiden on my tail all the time. There's loads of way more qualified ninja to handle every task. The Shumatsuban would be the same with or without me. But you performed admirably the first time you assisted the Traveler, did you not? Everyone believes that there are some missions that only you can accomplish. This truth remains, whether you choose to believe it or not. Your sensei taught you ninjutsu, so that you may step in when a mission needs you. Yes, I understand, but... Sorry, I don't know what to say. I should go. Bye. <sighs> She's just a little... lost. It is only my wish to help her. Before her sensei suddenly decided to leave, they insisted that I watch over her progress. Part of the reason I've assigned Kano Nana to keep an eye on her is to fulfill my promise. In fact, I'm certain that Sayu remembers her sensei's aspirations for her quite clearly. Otherwise, she would have quit the Shimatsuban long ago. She's been lost and unsure of herself ever since her beloved sensei's abrupt departure. Thank you, Traveler. She obviously has some reservations towards me. Though I've only desired to help and look after her, I'm afraid it's never culminated to much. <sighs> yes, perhaps you're right. Sensei told me that all I need... I had no idea how difficult such a simple thing could turn out to be. I'm not complaining, you know? I understand everyone has hopes for me. Miss Kamisato, Sensei, the Shrine Maiden... But I haven't done anything right. And whenever I try to do my best, I can't help but feel more pressure bearing down on me. If only I grew a little taller, maybe then I could handle it. <sighs> I guess all I can do is say sorry. Anyway, thank you. I don't know what else to say. Even talking is starting to feel difficult now. This is why I don't like coming here. <sighs>